is Gander RV and Outdoors? We are the RVers, the hunters, the anglers, the one-stop shop for all things outdoors. We are the largest available selection of RVs and accessories in the country. We are a nationwide network of RV service providers. We are here to equip your next adventure. Whatever your outdoor passion, wherever you're headed, come in and experience what Gander RV and Outdoors can be for you. Travel trailers are the most popular, easiest, and affordable way to live the RV life. But what should you know before you head to the dealership? In this session, we will cover features, comparisons, and what to look for when selecting the perfect travel trailer for you and your family. Featuring RV Pro, Lindsay McKenzie, who has traveled 45,000 miles, visited 40 states, and 25 national parks, all while traveling full-time in her RV. And product specialist, Chris Young, who is an expert in the RV industry and has built his career on knowing everything there is to know about RVs. Have any questions for our guests? Make sure to send them in the chat so they can answer your questions live. You're watching Camping World's Summer Solstice. This is everything you need to know before buying a travel trailer. Hey, what's up everybody? Chris Young from Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors, joined by my friend Lindsay from Follow Your Detour. We're yeah. gonna have some fun today. We are. Ian did a great job showing you how these things are made when we're talking about travel trailers and fifth wheels, the magic that goes behind them. Now we're gonna get a chance to show you the magic of what is actually in them. So are you excited to do this this morning? I mean, I think I got the luckiest job here because I get to walk through RVs and who doesn't love RV shopping? Right. So I'm ready. to see the one you might get next. Yes, you never it's know. dangerous it actually. Dangerous. It's a dangerous game. But. Speaking of, what you might want to get next is to get yourself registered to win because we're giving away gift certificates today. We're giving away almost $50,000 worth of giveaways and RV essentials just today. So be sure to register. And since we are live, we're going to be taking your questions live. So if you have anything you'd like to know, either between Lindsay or myself, hopefully we'll be able to answer it for you. But just ask away and we'll try to get to as many questions as we possibly can. So yeah. with that said, what do you say we start right Let's away? Right over here. So the great thing about travel trailers, and Lindsay, I'm sure you know this as well as I do, it is the most popular selling yeah, yeah. RV in the country. And one of the main reasons is because there's so many different floor plans, so, so many different lifestyles that can be accommodated yeah. by an RV. So we're going to show you the smallest travel trailer in their lineup. Yeah, in the light series. This is the 1805 rear bath. Beautiful fiberglass sided yeah. travel trailer. Double axle, which is extremely good to have, especially on the smaller travel yeah. trailer, because a lot of times on the smaller ones, There's you only one. get that single. Right? And I don't want to say it's, it's, it's an entry-level couples camper, but this could make a great entry-level couples so. camper. Got the campsite bed right up here. Beautiful. Got storage underneath as well. Oh, Look that's at that. always nice. And having the strut supported, oh, it's good. Yeah. So, I mean, you know, you guys live full-time on the road. What could you store in there? I mean, I'm thinking shoes. That's always, <laughs> where do you put shoes? <laughs> great <laughs> point. <woman>. Yeah, great <laughs> point. But, I mean, tubs. Those big tubs that you could put the really whatever you need mm -hmm. and clothes because this isn't a whole lot of storage for right. your clothes. So having extra bedroom storage is never a bad thing for sure. Right. But you know, also one of the things too, and we talked about this, is you want to make sure you don't overpack right. whenever you go yeah. to any yeah. Yeah, any camping yeah, trip. But mirrored wards, frosted yeah. glass inlays in these shaker style cabinets with the brush nickel fixtures. It's great. Giving you plenty of storage. Just the color scheme in here is is so nice for a smaller unit to yeah. have it feel open with the lighter decor and stuff. It's and great. Look, we have a, a nightstand with a drawer over here. Oh, that's great. So if you wanted to charge your cell phone, we got dual yeah. USB chargers over there. And, and you know, the, the color scheme is great you mentioned that because Coleman, I mean, they've been doing this for since ever. Yes. And they took a poll of what people wanted to see and they wanted that light and dark contrast. Modern. Insider, yeah, speaking of modern, look at the modern style kitchen that we have here. 
flush undermounted stainless steel sink with the brush nickel high rise faucet and the sprayer handle. And a good size sink. You know? Yeah. Like when you have a little one, that's just not practical. So right. Small unit, but you know they thought of all the things. So. They did well, and for a couple, I mean, I would say for four people, this would be. This would be Perfect. a little tight. Yeah. And, you know, this one says it sleeps four. Tow vehicle, since the dry weight is just roughly 4,500 pounds, you could tow this with the SUV. Um, but 80-inch ceilings, fully enclosed underbelly that's heated as well. I mean, power awning, power stabilizer jacks, power tongue jacks, flush-mounted three-burner cooktop with the grill cover and the glass style. Nice. That's just beautiful. Yeah. And for a nightlight, check it out. Oh, nice. You got a little nightlight there. Heavy Love oven as well. Like I mean, for a couple that's looking to just get out and about, yeah. this Even is great. One, one child. On yeah. The, well, yeah, on the jackknife fine. sofa, but yeah. reconnecting, sitting there, you got the bay window. Let's say you're at the mountains or the beach. Open up the window, let the air in, the light in. That's yeah. going to be a great night. And yeah, I'm somebody could sleep. I don't know if I'd put two people there. Well, Say. That's going to heat the whole area. Yeah, that's awesome. And it just looks homey and nice. Right. And who Dual doesn't love that? Entertainment. Love it. I'm a big fan. And of course, right. this is a RV, the 1805 RV. The whole back wall is a rear bath. I'm wow. Like, I got myself a single surround shower. I can fit in this. You can. Got plenty of room. Us tall people could do it. Right. Plus, we got the tub. And I'm big on bathroom storage. I mean, again, I'm a woman, so I think of those things. And oh my goodness. This is a whole other wardrobe closet, so my problem over there is solved. And then you've got drawers, and this is great. There's a lot of storage for a little unit in here. Right. I like it. I'll let you get out. Great for a couple. <laughs> great for a couple. Shower. We got slip resistant, easy to clean flooring. Yeah. I mean, and with Coleman, you know, you're going to get great warranties. You're going to get great insulation. Yeah. Uh, so even if you're a couple that likes to do the hunting and fishing, and you need like a little mini hunting cabin, fishing cabin. This would be a great setup. Yeah, I agree. And look at that. One fit as you can get this for as low as one fifty yeah. a month. I mean that's like a hotel room, one night of a hotel room. Yeah. You're doing that, you know, a month and it's great. Right. And we're talking it, about it's like a no brainer. And la later on we're gonna be talking about dry docking and some good campgrounds to visit. And yeah. you guys are gonna let us know about some spots that even have free camp. Oh, we've got tons. I mean that can that's that's gonna be that. coming up later. Yeah. Speaking of, be sure to register because we are giving away some gift certificates and we're taking your questions live. So yeah. if you have any questions, send them Should to us. They're actually being fed right to Lindsay. Yeah, absolutely. Let's go ahead and take one. Okay, so Here's one you probably get quite a bit. What is the difference between fiberglass and aluminum travel trailers? That's a great question. We, we do get that a lot. Mm -hmm. And if you go to any RV dealership, Camping World, Gander RV and Outdoors, you're going to notice it's probably like a 50-50 split yeah. between fiberglass and aluminum. And really the, the biggest point is aluminum travel trailers are less expensive. Those are great for the entry level campers that are looking to dip their toe in the water and they want something, you know, I'm not going to break the bank, but I want to experience it. Yeah. I still need good quality construction because they are good quality construction. You're mm -hmm. talking about wood frames with the same fiberglass that, or with the same insulation that you get in your home. Mm -hmm. um, and I mean, they're a little bit heavier because they're aluminum, but when it comes to fixing that side panel, you get a ding or you get a cut or something like that. Yeah. Those aluminum panels are a whole lot easier to replace. Yeah. Now, fiberglass, on the other hand, that pretty much wins in every other category. Yeah. They are a little bit more expensive because, well, they're fiberglass. They're beautiful, got those easy, you know, the slick sides, as you yeah. like to call them, yeah, yeah, versus the bumpy sides. That's how I um, tell them apart. Yeah, and it's well construction. A lot of them have the Asdell on the inside, which is a, another fiberglass backing that really helps with the insulation. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're more lightweight. Mm -hmm. So um, that's really the big difference, the price, the weight. Uh, but at the end of the day, it really just depends on what are you going to use it for? Sure. sure. What do you want? How many people? What are you towing with? Yep. There's a lot of things that go into each camper. Absolutely. Um, and uh, I always yield to the experts. I mean, that's why we have people at Camping World, Gander Outdoors, to help you pick. Sure. Now, sure. Got a beautiful awning. 
the LED lights. Love those lights. Dual zone <laughs> entertainment speakers. And look, you want to set up a TV outside? Wow. We've got a wow, connection I'm there. I'm so surprised by this. Power port wow. there. I mean, come on. This is set up for people to have fun. Wow. Plus, you have the external shower. You guys know about Perfect. these. Oh, yeah. yeah. And with dogs, that's kind of a must. I mean, if you were to say the next RV that you have, is this a must to have? Would you absolutely? Right. I think so, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah. Because nothing like tracking in that <laughs> dirt and mud say, on the inside, right? Hair. It's like you're, you're trying to get out of the tent life, so right. you want to right. try and avoid that. And let's see, we got power leveling jacks on the front and the rear of this one. Oh, nice. That's a nice one. Yeah. One of the things I think is a must have with any travel trailer. I agree. I mean, those, but for sure, power tongue jack. Talk about hooking up, the ease of hooking oh, up. Gosh, wow. that makes life so much easier. Yeah. All right, so the next nice. one we're going to go to is a Pioneer BH270, which this one is so popular, which is why we chose all these units. We wanted ones that were not only the most popular units across the country, but ones you could easily access across the country. This one actually sold last night. Oh. Uh, family drove down to take a look at it, and it's there, so we're actually walking into someone else's travel trailer. It's funny, because I, when I walked in, I thought of my sister immediately, and it's, it's perfect for a small family. Right. And just so nice. Now, what makes you say that? Is it because of the bunks? Is it the layout? Give me some so, thoughts on that. Definitely, obviously the bunks, but um, I just so many little touches here, like this. Mm -hmm. when the you mud have room. Kids and you know everyone's got a jacket or shoes. Like you don't think of those things until you're actually using it. Yeah, and my, you don't my have wife. Anywhere to put it. Yeah, my wife mentions that all the time. Where are the hooks? Where are we gonna put stuff? Yeah. And this mud room space, especially when you walk in, this layout, the Pioneer did a great job with just making this functional uh, and it, once again I wouldn't call this entry level but it's technically an entry level bunkhouse travel trailer mm -hmm. uh, I mean the price point look at that dry mm -hmm. weight on this one 6,500 pounds you can get this for as low as 143 a month Wow where wow. are you gonna sleep eight people for that I know I no, mean really it's impossible. Yeah, yeah you really can't and with this campsite kitchen we got the 50-50 sinks, the brush nickel fixtures, plenty of prep space. Definitely. Once again, flush mounted burner, mm -hmm. glass cover, backsplash. I mean, everything. this, this everything is yes, pretty much everything that you need. A large fridge, yeah. freezer combo. Ooh. This is huge. The pantry. Every unit I go in, I look for a pantry. overlook when you're in a unit because you're focused on the layout or maybe right. the colors and then the practical stuff you skip over right so, well you know awesome. it, it's funny the two things when you're looking at a home the two rooms you always go to are the kitchen, the kitchen and the bathroom, bathroom. <laughs> and people ask all the time do you actually use yeah. the bathrooms in a travel trailer is, yeah I, I know we had some folks asking that yep and the answer to that question is yes of course yes of course of you do course. i mean why would you get not, it and not yeah. use it just look at the space that we have here and i'm a big fan of you got the master bedroom up there which we're going to get to yeah. but having the bunk room with the kids having a separate access point yes. so that they can come and go as they please kids are dirty yep. too, just like dogs and so. with it being in the bathroom get in the tub clean yes. yourself off Instead single of surround shower there I, I love mean, that there's a little tub too. Mm -hmm. you know, if you've got little ones, that's not always common in a unit. Right. Um, Great for dogs too. Because yes. you got the sprayer nozzle, the handle right here. Oh, yes. Get everybody cleaned right. off. It's a yeah, must that's have. A pretty spacious bathroom too. Yeah. You know? and I'm not cramped left, right, up, or down mm -hmm. inside here. Plus, we got the medicine cabinet right here notched in the corner. Sure, and this for me is a biggie the, the raised lip. lip. Yeah. Yeah. How many times have you had the stuff fall out? You open after it and you... everything comes out. Not yep. a fan. No. Not a fan. No, who is? <laughs> not a fan. All of a sudden, all my business is in the sink. I'm not a fan. Awesome. So. Another thing I notice here is just like the width of this. Sometimes they're, they can be kind of tight to mm -hmm. get in. And so you really do have to have little, little ones. Right. And this is just nice. It seems really open and safe. Having the hideaway ladder. That's yeah. going to help. And those are double over double bunks. So yeah. that's 300 pounds on each bunk easily mm -hmm. get it you know two adults up there oh yeah easily yeah i love this unit i mean There's this a is a yeah which is i mean hey it sold yesterday yeah I can this see is why. this is the other thing that i'm a big fan of 
when you're talking about RVing, you guys do this a lot. Yes. Is it nice to just disconnect and reconnect with the loved ones? Yes. I mean, how many times do you get a chance to sit across from Dan? I know. And just... I know. Yeah. And I also am kind of a big fan of the separate sitting and lounging area mm -hmm. and the dinette. And sometimes in the smaller units, you are going to have to choose one or the other. Right. So, you know, with kids, you just, you want both. You want the nice little dinner and then you want to snuggle up and let them watch cartoons. Or, right. So, and but as an adult, I don't want to watch TV from here. This right. isn't comfortable enough. Right. This is eating. Yeah, this, <laughs> so this having is, both is great. See, and that's, that's the way I was raised. You had a separate eating space. We ate at the table. Mm -hmm. You know, we mm -hmm. eat at the table. And having these dinettes, I mean, yes, they do reduce down into a sleeper. But natural light coming in, open Tons the windows, windows. get air. Yeah, wood balances and even wood side balances. Yeah, yeah. This, I love this one. And let me tell you, having these, because, you know, with the, when you have, you know, the shades, a it's lot of times still, those edges you're right. get torn up. So having these side balances, mm -hmm. it's a very nice touch. Mm -hmm. You're right. So it's no wonder this one sold yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> so, but don't worry. If you like this one, trust me, you can find it. We have them. Do not worry at all. <laughs> Coming up here to the entertainment center, space for the TV. We talked yep. about the mudroom. Again, good storage. Storage is always the thing I'm looking for. Games Master. and look at the master bedroom here cute and solid pocket door yeah because nice. kids need... dogs whatever gonna be making noise privacy, Give me the and... privacy. yeah cute Ooh, look at the frosted glass inlay up there oh and the storage open sideways that's a nice touch oh, so you're not up. having to hold it yeah you're right and it's a walk around bed that's another requirement of mine because that can be tough to make the bed if there's if it's right up against the wall there. Right. So having the space and instead of trying to go in one entrance, yeah. come in the other entrance. Yeah. Plenty of space for the nightstand. I mean, I honestly can't find anything wrong with this. Right. Unit. That's why I'm gonna call my sister and be like, I found You the found her unit. Yeah, yeah, you found her bunkhouse. <laughs> this is the Heartland Pioneer BH270. Love it. love it. Should we take a question? Yeah, absolutely. Let's get to it. Okay. Gosh, I love the inlay. This there. one I think I can handle. Oh, okay. It says, do most RV parks have sewage hookups? And how many days worth do most RV tanks hold before you need to empty them? Mm. So I'm going to say yes, most mm -hmm. RV parks do have uh, sewage hookups. However, some sites are considered premium and they'll have all hookups. Other sites are going to be called maybe standard right. and they'll just have water and electric. But RV parks always have a dump on site. So right. You know, it, it's going to depend on how long you're staying there. If you're there a week, you could probably get by without the um, dump right at your site. Right. And Dan and I can usually go about four or five days. So it's going to depend couple. on your unit, yeah, it's your tank how size, yeah. how many people, um, and just if you're wanting the convenience of it or if you're cool just going in and dumping yourself at, a, um, at the site. Right. So we also have the dumps, you know, good sand members get to dump for free at, uh, you know, the camping world again, yeah, RV and outdoors. Okay. Um, yeah, I think it's, you know, just a few dollars, $10 okay. or so for those that aren't, but another perk of, you know, getting a good sand membership yep, right there. Yep. Yep. So beautiful pioneer BH 270, great travel trailer, okay. one for the family. And if you're looking to dip your toe in the water, you mm -hmm. saw this one could be as low as 143 a month. Um, that's a night at a hotel. Yeah. Easily yeah. a night at a hotel. I mean, where else are you going to find that? With that room, yeah. that space, and this is this is the aluminum. We're talking about the ridge side. Right. That's how I always tell them apart, yeah. for sure. Large awning, LED light strip, dual zone speakers in there. This is just a good hangout area, too, because uh -huh. once again, look, we have the little cable hookup over here for the television. If you want to do that outside. Got your fresh water connection there, power port, nice. double axle travel trailer. Got those 15 inch aluminum wheels on those Dexter Easy Lube axles. It's just really pretty looking. And you know, people <laughs> ask all the time about, you know, single axle versus double axle too. Yeah. Um, yep. I know we have one of those question. come in. Yeah. And you know, with, with single axle, when you're taking that down the road, you're going to get a lot of this. You're going to get a lot of sway. sway. Not going to have that as much with the double axle. Um, these are easier to tow. The single axles are a little bit easier to maneuver, but they're also easier to jackknife on them too. Mm -hmm. So that's something to watch mm -hmm. out for. But once yeah. again, it just depends on towing. What are you towing with? Yeah. What do you have to tow? Yeah. Um, now this, I, don't, I never like to pick favorites. <laughs> this uh -oh. is one of my favorites. 
All right. East to West Silver Lake 31 K3S. That means king right. three slides. King meaning the master bedroom has a king size bed. Oh gosh. Yeah, it's an intercoil spring mattress That's too. True we'll glamping. see that here in a second. Double axle, beautiful gray exterior, large awning. Let's go check this bad boy out. All right. Now this is where the family comes to hang. Um, once again, large dinette. We got the 81 inch high ceilings in here. If you notice, a lot of them are either 81 or 82 uh -huh. on the interior. So you have good head height. You do. You got room, but the space here. I know. Left to right. Yeah, this slide makes a huge difference. And it's just so light but with these window vents, mm -hmm. with the lights above the slide. The LED light strip on top of the slide, yep. Under here, there's just, that's a huge problem for us in our current RV is it's a little dark. And right. then the darker, with the darker wood, sometimes you, you it's just too cramped feeling, you know? And I was going to so say, you guys are a couple in there. And tell me about the space relativity um, when you travel. Does it drive you crazy? It doesn't. And be honest, Dan can hear, but he's not here. No, I know. So. No, honestly, the more time we spend together, the better. And right. I think sometimes being in tight spaces makes you kind of deal with things more and communicate better. And so it's, Love it. it's built a really great foundation for our marriage and made us a lot closer. And plus, we also have a super slide, too. So we, we do like to. Yeah, get the space out. <laughs> yes. Yeah. See what that's... I won't lie. A little yeah. extra space doesn't See, hurt. That's great. We come over here to the kitchen, plenty of countertops, prep space with a campsite kitchen here, seamless countertop, which allows us that. to have the undermounted farmhouse style sinks. It's a really big deal because we've got this problem and we've had water leak out and oh, water yeah. in an RV is a huge issue. So I, I noticed that they started doing this and it might not seem like a big deal unless you've experienced it a problem, being a problem. And mm -hmm. we've had, you know, smells if you don't really dry oh, yeah. it out yeah, yeah. it can be a huge problem so. yeah so having the seamless countertop yeah you can just brush yeah. everything into the sink plus it allows you to get that under mount for the it's farmhouse style sink yeah it's way deeper it's a lot bigger too and suspension spray yeah. handle come on now yeah i'm gonna get every corner with that one <laughs> and you know the one thing too about all these travel trailers you're going to notice the solid wood construction mm -hmm. all the way throughout, mm -hmm. especially on the drawers where we have the full extension on the ball bearing drives. You're going to see that in every one of these travel trailers. If I don't get a chance to show you in each individual one, every one of these will have that. Some of them will have the brush nickel fixtures like we have here, the beautiful nice. grab handles, brush nickel. And we got ourselves a nightlight at the bottom. <laughs> I like that. I like that too. And if you notice, you see how the ducts are in the walls over here, like right there. Mm. that's so that you don't have them underneath the floor, which gives you less chances of having soft spots. Mm -hmm. You know, you won't have that, that oh, okay. squishy feeling when you're walking through. But beautiful for the family. But with this one being a bunkhouse, oh, I got to show wow. you this. Come on this is now. like a little playroom for kids. I mean. It's a kid's dream back here. This is a kid's dream. And we have an extra mattress that actually doubles as a trindle bed oh, right wow. here underneath this bunk right here. So you can sleep. A, a big family in here for sure you know these aren't small you know these no are... these are 300 pound capacity mm -hmm. and they're plush thick mattresses yeah, so soft. if you got the kids i mean these this one lifts up i mean it's a this one is as you can see strapped in over here mm -hmm. um but this is what i like to call the knock around room for the kids they got their entertainment yeah. center with plenty of storage we're not going to run out of places to put our stuff no. in here um Plus, we got the drawers, toys. got a suspension netting down there to hold my shoes or my toys or whatever. Uh huh. Safe. But do you know the first thing, because I have two kids, but the first thing I thought of with this travel trailer guys, hunting trip. Yeah. Ladies, vacation trip. You're right. I mean, get the girls, hit the beach. You Pile got nine of us, ten of us. It's a party mobile. It's a party mobile. It's a party wagon. <laughs> I mean, in a I good way. There's, in a good way. Responsible party easy. wagon. Yes. Yes. It's absolutely beautiful, but this room now, this, is spacious this enough. This is great. I mean, a slide, we got opposing slides, housing the bunks. Just an, honestly, an area for the kids is really important, you know, yeah. like where they can go and still just be kids, even if it's raining outside and yeah. you're not, you know, pulling your hair out as a parent right. because you don't know what to do with the kids. They can come and play a board game or yeah. this is, this is awesome. This is a beautiful spot for the kids. I was yeah. a big fan of this bunk room and how East to West Love laid it, it out. And then we go to the other important room, kitchen and room. bathroom. Would you just look at it? Ooh, look at that counter space. Yes. 
That's awesome. Again, storage, I'm always another little tub. So they really thought of, of families in this unit for they sure. They absolutely thought of the family. Cute shower curtain. I like that they're doing shower curtains and not just the plastic or. Really? I just feel like it feels like home a little. Okay. And, All right. um, I think the plastic ones, since they're just straight, they make you, they don't give you the elbow space that you need. Yep. So there's lots to like about it. This one, the dry weight, just over 8,700 pounds, could sleep nine. Wow. Um, I mean, you're talking about space, and you know, I like to say it's space storage for days. Yes, space and time for days. I would agree. And look, as low as two or three of them. Oh my goodness. To sleep that many people. I know. That's that's know, why this really, is the year of RV travel. It really is. Plus, gas prices are low. Yeah. You know. And I mean, we got so many amenities here. Got a dual USB charger up there. We got an entertainment center right here with a TV backer. We go into the master bedroom and we have ourselves a king, king size, size bed. Again, storage underneath, storage. strut supported. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, this right here, I, a lot of people ask about the must haves. This to me is a must have. I agree. Because when you're packing the stuff in, the last thing you want to do is, is hold it hold up. This up. Mm -hmm. but, or have it slam on a young kid right. or, you know. So we push that. Wow, this up. is a king size. King size bed. We got dual USB charging ports on both sides. Ward storage on both sides. Yeah. Walk around. I got myself a nightstand on both sides. So yep. if you have a reading light or a Need CPAP it. machine, I think to me having that space over there is essential. It is. Um, water. See, yeah, yeah, water. Yeah, you get your lights, your books, mm -hmm. whatever you want to read. I would um, definitely agree. Yep. So this is a great walk thing. around as well. Yeah. TV backer right here. If you want you to get TV. Another vent. Bring in some light. Yep. Get a vent cover on top of there and just keep it open the entire time. Yeah. Ducks for the AC. I mean, great. this is just a family vehicle. So I'm sure we've had uh, some more questions come in. You got we anything sure good have. that you want to go over? Because, by the way, be sure to send your questions in and register. We're giving away gift certificates once we get done with this walkthrough of travel trailers. Okay, I like this question. For okay. RV with slides, how important is it to be able to access the main features when the slides are in? So things like I'm assuming bathroom, bathroom kitchen, kitchen. Yeah. Um, I would say it's pretty. If you have children, yes, especially important. to be able to access the bathroom is very important. It's important. Um, to grab snacks, it yeah. is important. But whenever you look at any unit, ask to see it with the slides in and the slides out. Yeah. So you can see that access Walk through. And try yeah. It. I mean, it's like in motorized, it's a little bit more prominent because you know when you're driving, you want to be able to access the bathroom. You know, or somebody be able to access the bathroom while in transit. But in travel trailers, if you got to pull over and stop, it's nice to be able to just pull over and be able to walk to yeah. the bathroom, yeah. access the kitchen, access the fridge, mm -hmm. um, you know, just to kind of have that. So I think that's extremely important and that's I a agree. great question. I agree. Yeah. And I think most manufacturers have thought of that, which they, is yeah. nice. They, like, they do. Yes. But once again, there are so many floor plans that you can choose from. It's mind boggling it because uh, you might have those people that say, eh, you know, no, I'm fine. I just want something 18 feet right. and I want it to be, you know, I don't need to access it. I don't even want a slide. I just want to, you know, pop mm -hmm. in, just have something to sleep, True. take True. a shower. Um, Got storage on the outside, and I'm a big fan Ooh. of the cover on the seams because having this and the hinges covered up means you're not going to have that streaking. When it, if the elements hit it, it's not going to rust. Okay, that's good. And how this about a little outside nice. kitchen? Wow. Now, I am a fan of taking my grill with me, mm -hmm. but having these capital grills with that radiant style, oh, yeah. that's beautiful i love it I got love your it. own little prep area got a mini fridge and like let's say you go on a fishing trip or a hunting trip mm -hmm. you can you can clean everything up here or prep it here prep it on the side so you're not taking that smell mm -hmm. inside the camper oh yeah you know of cooking the fish you got a fridge to store everything when i'm ready uh this is also good to have too uh because when you're in transit and you don't want to go in the trailer you have water up right yeah. Here. Why not? yeah didn't think Speaking of that of, if i'm not mistaken Let's just check in here. Are you thirsty? I am actually. I, be I believe we have some water inside. Look at that. We've the east to west. Let's see. Oh. And it's still cold. Sweet. Which brings me to another so good toasty. point that people ask. We put these in there yesterday. And people ask, well, do you have to have the power running to have the refrigerator going? Yep. Well, yes. 
But a lot of these Dometic, these Norcold units, they have great insulation in them. So if you put it in there and you still have to cut the power, hey, this is still cold. The seals kept it cold overnight. Nice. I wouldn't leave food in there overnight, obviously, but be smart with it. Right. That's kind of what I'm saying. Power tongue jack, got the 20 pound dual LP tanks right here. Diamond plated rock guard. See, and for me, having features like this, because when you're talking about road debris, smacking up, uh -huh. you don't want to hurt something like this, you know, super flex seamless roof that's going over the top. That's a good point, yeah. So, plus it just kind of looks rugged. Yeah, it does. It's a man thing. <laughs> now right. we're going to come to the Heartland Mallard M26. Fiberglass travel trailer. This is also a bunk unit. It's nice. Now, this is one I think you're really going to like the amenities in. I would not say this is an entry level travel trailer, but this is for that family that wants some creature comforts of home while they're on the road, but also don't want to break the bank. Cool. Let's Please allow check me. Check it out. Okay, yeah. Right? I automatically see a lot of big differences that right? I like. This is more of like a home style feel. Yeah, it is. For and sure. Again, light interior. Very light interior. Camp style chef inspired kitchen. Look at this space. Again, that's Prep a lot area. of mm -hmm. And you have the 60 40 sink mm -hmm. split. Nice. With once again, you got that brush nickel high rise sprayer faucet right there. Can easily reach both sides. But so I'm a fan of the farmhouse style sinks. Sure. We're just one big one. Yeah. Do you like the... No. I was a little disappointed when I should see that. Really? But, you know, some people like because you can be cutting. Yeah. And then still access part of your sink. So okay. Good there, point. there's benefits to it. But All generally, right. I do like a little more space just with dishes piling up. And as my buddy Ian always says, cut on the bottom side because you don't want the top. It's going to be covered. Scratched up. Scratched up and dirty. Good point. Flush mounted three burner stove. Uh, now this okay. is one for the kids. You talk about entertaining. I love this. How about a fridge that has a doodle station? <laughs> yes. It's a refrigerator with a chalkboard. Just the little details like that 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 they're thinking of nowadays right. is really cute. And a lot of these fridge freezer combos run on both gas and electric. Some of yeah. them have the automatic switcher too. So that was a, a question that came up. Some of oh, sure. talked about that. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, a lot of travel trailers will have that. Um, it is a nice feature. Uh, it's it's one that I consider a must mm -hmm. because if you dry dock, you mm -hmm. don't have power. Mm -hmm. You got to run the fridge on LP. Yeah. Um, but there are some, you know, obviously there's some negatives too. You know, it's it's a different style. You know, you got to have the, the burner and everything on the back. So, mm -hmm. um, it just depends on what somebody wants, which is great about travel trailers. It's great about having those options. You have them. Right. Um, right. Plenty of room. Plush. Dinette. Look I at mean, the cushions on this. Just the cute finishings. Oh, Again. It's residential. Look, it looks homey. like a little candle, right? I know. It's homey. So cute. High ceilings, too. Look at this. Dry weight on this one, roughly 6,500 pounds. Goes back to that aluminum versus fiberglass that yeah. we were talking about. Yeah. Can sleep eight and can be as low as 188 a month. I mean, once again, a hotel night. Nope, Where nope. can you get room for you and seven of your friends or family members? I know. You, you for can't. You can't. And not only that, Plus, it's your stuff. And it's way better. Yeah, I it's mean, your stuff. You're in nature. It's it's adventure. That's why it is the year of RV travel. So one thing I noticed about this one, too, is outlets. This one has an outlet right here. Mm -hmm. I always look for outlets. Why is that important? Dan and I work. So we're okay. this area is not just eating for us. We're on our laptops a lot. So again, that's not going to be everybody's case. Right. But being able to have an outlet nearby, we kind of always check that when we're in units and Yeah, because you want to be comfortable while you're working too. Yes. So that's a okay. And this reduces down into a sleeper. Um, the bunks, I kind of like how they're hidden back mm -hmm. here. These are double over yeah. double bunks right here on the campsite, 200 mm -hmm. pound max capacity on both. And I got a little privacy curtain right yeah. there. Plus, I got a light and a window. And once again, those teddy bear bunk style mattresses. Nice. Plenty of storage in this unit, yep, too. Yeah, there's the pantry I always Beautiful. look for. Yeah, shaker style cabinets with the graphite style fixture or matte finish mm -hmm. fixtures. I call nice. them graphite. Um, but look at there. That's a ton. Yeah, it doubles but, as a ward, too. Yeah, I was you can take say. these out and you got the hanger there. So if you need some ward space, absolutely. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's just the. Where RVs have come, I think there was a perception about travel trailers and about RVing mm -hmm. that, you know, oh, you know, we've seen those old beat up trailers, you know, 
That's not the case anymore. No. Some of these are nicer than what we have in our homes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And a lot of times totally. people don't see that. The features, the fixtures, solid door going into the bathroom. Mm -hmm. And look at that. Plenty of space. Once again, you got that shower curtain. And, and is that on the curve? Oh. Is the shower curtain on the curve bar? Extra space. Oh, no, it just looked curved. Okay. Oh. But still, you're right about the shower curtain. Mm -hmm. You do still get to use the room. And it having makes the a tub. Big difference helps with the splash because you're right water is bad mm -hmm. slip resistant residential style flooring easy to clean it's nice this is a beautiful travel trailer this is the Harlan Mallard M26 a bunk unit for bunk units and once again as low as 188 a month can't be I love how they snuck in storage in areas mm -hmm. right like you've got tons I mean that goes all the way back mm -hmm. and it's easier to access I don't know if these Lift up now, okay. Yeah, it's just on the side. Mm -hmm. But, Quick you know, easy. once again, I'm always thinking about hunting, fishing, and I, I'll, one of my big things is a grab-and-go spot. Yeah. People yell at me all the time because I'll use pantry space as my grab-and-go spot. And for me, a grab-and-go spot is a place I can put a backpack, yeah. kabu bag, water bag, and sure. it would be like right here. Right, by the door. Yeah, And absolutely. But the great thing about RVs, unlike hotels, unlike cruise ships, unlike anything else, it's yours. It, yeah. Use a space for whatever you want to use right, it for. Right. It's it's yours. You take that side, I take this one. All right. Should which we is should we spin benefit. the TV? <laughs> oh. This spins Wait, around. What? Yep. Oh, I got the doors. You gotta shut the doors in okay, order for okay. it to spin. So here. I like that there's two doors. Let's talk about that because yep. again it just opens up the bedroom a lot more. And it gives oh, you okay. privacy on both sides. So if Dan's asleep on one side oh now i see what's happening yeah here you go bobby we'll spin that around for you oh All right. my gosh Lindsay and i are gonna watch as the world turns we'll see y'all <laughs> in a little bit there we go slide That's the pocket awesome. doors back so when you're done watching tv here or the kids go to bed you can spin it around and watch tv here in the That's master cool. bedroom with a king size cool. bed another king size bed another king size bed Love with storage it. underneath Look at the frosted glass that yeah, we have like on the it. insides. I just got this on so we have a little more light. Can't get over the color schemes in these units now. I just, what they've I'm done? So happy with the improvements. Well, they they've listened to people. They've yeah. listened to feedback. Yeah. And you know, having these color schemes, having the frosted glass inlays. Mm -hmm. I mean, it adds to the aesthetic and makes the unit. I don't want to say more, more livable, but more livable. Comfortable more and more like home. Yeah. Really. I mean, you're, that's why you're getting an RV is to feel like you're at home on vacation. And the more homey it looks, the easier that is. So, right. so this is a good, the Harlan Mallard M26 bunkhouse model. For that family that's looking for the upgraded features, recommend this one all day long. 100%. Man, we've seen yeah. some really good ones. Yeah. I mean, this is... It's hard to pick a favorite. If I could take one home with me and get away with it, it'd be this one. Really? So... I'm sure we got some more questions coming in too. Me Since too, we are live, be sure to send your questions in and register because we got giveaways coming up here in just a little bit. Okay. Um, will RV dealerships show you how to hook up, back up, and drive the RV? I know this was a concern mm -hmm. of so, ours. Dan was a little intimidated. Sure. Especially as, with the bigger units. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, as well as you should be. And you know, one of the things that I don't think gets touted enough is how great our service people are. Yeah. And not only what they do fixing units, uh, but doing the walkthroughs. Whenever you buy a unit from Gander RV and Outdoors or Camping World, you get a professional walkthrough. That's great. And they show you how to use it. They, they show you what to do. Mm -hmm. If you have any questions about, hey, all right, how do I back this up? How do I hook up? That's when you ask it, and that's yeah. when they'll show you. That's great. Um, so, that helps outside, a lot. oh, wait a minute, hang on. I'm not going anywhere until I check out the outdoor party center. <laughs> oh, it's literally called a party this is center. Anti slam doors Look at that with magnetic hinges. Back there, is it? Right? We have a sink, a backsplash, and a burner. So cute. I mean, when you're camping, I know. you have to do everything inside. No, yeah, huh. you don't want to be inside. No, this is an entertainment spot right here. I love that. And I Again, love how they call it the outdoor party it so center. Cute and fun. Yeah, party center. Yep. Got the Sold. power awning, the LED light strip. We got King Kong storage too. Do you know what King Kong storage? Is? I don't. I actually was wondering that. I'm gonna show you. But look at this. Nice. That is wide track suspension. Remember, I was talking about yeah. when you have a double axle travel trailer. Yep. That's gonna help with that sway going down the road. Suspension that wide is really gonna help. 
That's awesome. It's beautiful. Mallard M26. King Kong size storage. What does All that right, mean? Let's see it. I'm I would assume it's it means gigantic. Not small. Oh wow, you yeah. can sleep in there. Hey, right. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great spot for the fishing gear, the hunting gear, everything that you can need. And we have power okay. leveling jacks right here on this unit. Another feature that I think is a must have. Yeah, for sure. Easy to access. Magnetic anti slam pass through. It's awesome. Just a big fan of these. Storage is a huge fiberglass end cap that's molded with the LED light strips on it. That's going to look good at the campground and while it's going down that's the road. Slick. I mean, come on, man. And last but not least, toy holes. Okay. So I'm secretly excited about this one okay, because we've been considering switching to a toy hauler for the deck life. Not because we have ATVs and, and toys to haul, but. But we also want something shorter, yep. and a lot of toy haulers are a little bit longer, and we right. don't need that. So well, you beat I'm excited. Me to it. Yeah, you beat me to it. The great thing about toy haulers, so this is the Coleman Lantern 250 TQ. Okay. And the great thing about toy haulers, yes, they are set up for your toys. You can tow the motorcycles, tow the side by sides, tow mm -hmm. the golf cart. Oh, this uh, is nice. But you don't exclusively have to use it. If you just need extra space, if you want the deck life. Mm -hmm. What's the great thing about having a garage? It's your garage, you can do whatever you want to. Yeah, right? yeah. So if you want to turn it into a workspace, if you want to yeah. turn it into a shop, if you want to turn it into a mobile broadcast unit, <laughs> you got the room for it. You're and with this right. 250 TQ, you can see, yeah, the deck life, the garage door right there uh -huh. lowers down. A lot of them have these suspension barriers that go sure. around that are great for the deck life. So Sitting if out, it doesn't, it. can is that something you can buy? Absolutely. Okay. Yes, absolutely. That's the other great thing is modifications. A lot of people yeah. don't think about modifying their right. travel trailers or campers. You can modify pretty mm -hmm. much whatever you want. Mm -hmm. uh, and a lot of times it's just a simple conversation with the service folks. Cool. You know, hey, I want to add this. Okay, well, let's see. You know, can I do, do a swap it? out? Yeah, sure. Why not? I mean, it's right. just ask the questions. It's your camper. Yeah. Um, but look at the space we have here. And they look really comfortable. Oh, Usually they're in plush. Toy cars, they're, they're more of the like kind of rigid ones and right. they're not as comfortable. This This is plush here. I'm yeah. so you can sit down. Check that out. I mean out. I was gonna lay down over there. <laughs> I mean go for it. Take a nap. So oh, this one yeah. this one will sleep four. But if you've ever seen any of the video comfy. reviews that we do uh, for Gander RV and Outdoors, I always talk about the recliners in front of the mm -hmm. big bay windows. I'm sorry. You open the window and let the airflow come yeah. in. I'm yeah, knocking yeah. out right there. I'm so done. Here's something I do notice is there's no T V in here. You have a mounting bracket for one right there. Perfect. Okay. Yep. So if you wanted to mount one, you absolutely could. Um, so now, do these move? Because they do. Uh, they also get strapped okay, in, okay. but you can slide them around. Um, I have an uncle who picked up one of these, and he actually keeps the chairs outside. Oh. And then, you know, because it's the weirdest thing to pull up at his campsite and see him reclining, <laughs> but you'd have to know him. Um, but these are the Thomas Payne recliners. Oh, Go ahead wow. and have a seat on that. Thomas Payne is plush, oh comfy, and soft. And with a 13-foot garage, we got the D-rings recessed and mounted right there, so you could hook up pretty much whatever you wanted. But this does right. go into the living area, so the garage does extend into the living area. Okay. So it would take a special setup for someone to, you know, be able to say, "Oh yeah, yeah, I can take this." You know, if you have a side by side, this is probably in the travel trailer for, or this in the toy hauler for you. Sure. But motorcycles. Bikes. Yep. You know, if you got ten bikes, <laughs> you know, yeah. Bring them on in. Yeah. Because these will fold up and move out the way to give you the garage access. Mm -hmm. And the table also comes up out and uh, comes out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But that reduces down into a bed. Perfect. So. And there's no slides in here, but it it doesn't feel too tight. Right. At all. I'm the glad space you brought that is very up. Very livable. There's no slide. Mm -hmm. But look at the space we have. Yep. Got a seamless countertop. Got Love the farmhouse down sink is. with the apron. Uh -huh. Brush nickel high rise faucet. USB chargers. Good countertop space. Flush mounted three burner stove with that glass style cover. It, I love these, but the only thing you got to watch out for have you guys experience with the lip moving the pots and pans around? Mm -mm. You just got to be careful. Uh, Sometimes you bump into them, bump. you know, sure. every now and then, but it's not a biggie. Sure. Yeah. What about this, like rattling around? Is that ever a major problem? Breaking? I I have never it had it happen. Nice. I mean, I'm sure it probably could, especially if you're you know going down a rocky road. Yeah. But if you take a look, 
at the sides right here, Super. there are some yeah, some rubber oh, yeah. notches that kind of help keep it secure. Yeah, I think it'll um, be fine. I tell people too to try, you know, use some duct tape when you're going, mm -hmm. you know, or, or use some, you know, uh, masking tape. Yeah, that's Put it right. on there. Yep. Large fridge. Mm-hmm. Once nice. again, runs on both gas and electric. That's great. Yep. Coleman Lantern 250TQ, very popular toy hauler for the reasons that you mentioned. No slide. Mm -hmm. Got the recliners. Mm -hmm. Garage can be used for multiple things. Plenty of storage up here, too. Yeah, storage isn't bad. Yeah. 82 inch high ceilings. Nice. I think Shaquille could fit in here. <laughs> Pretty sure. It's called Not in. positive. Call him in. Nice. Okay, I love the two. The pass through bathroom? The yes. Right? If you have so people staying, kids, they can access it. You can access it from the bedroom, too. Check out the Neo Angle Feels, shower. Oh, yeah. Look at the space in this. All right, try it out. Once again, no slide. Yep. And I got plenty of room, left, yeah. right, up and down. Got the and powered the makes fan right there. That's nice. Yeah, got the raised lip too. So, you know, even if you put the dog in there, it's not really going to do that much yeah. damage. And again, cute curtain. <laughs> All right. Easy to clean floors, residential, slip resistant flooring, large medicine cabinet too. Oh, yeah, with that lip that doesn't. The raised lip right there. Mm hmm. Pretty good storage. And let's check out the master. Pass through. I'll go the walk other through. way. Yeah, I was going to say, you check out the other side. I'll go through the pass through. <laughs> Solid pocket door separating the bathroom and the master. Got a queen size I bed there. This. Mirrored ward storage. Nightstands on both sides. Yeah, that wood paneling kind of gives it the looks, cabin feel. Yeah, doesn't it? cute. Oh, these are deep too. That's nice. Lots of room. More drawers. Mm -hmm. It's a good nightstand. Yeah. Once again, solid construction on those drawers. Full extension on the ball bearing drives. I got a USB charger, dual on both sides. And if you want to mount a TV, there you go. Got your bracket right there. Perfect. You know the only I'm thing. I'm a TV though, in bed kind of girl. Yeah, I'm just not a fan of looking across the bed at the TV. Yeah. That's that's just me. I know a lot of people don't care. I just you know turn you know it's just fine. It's yeah. Just not my I thing. agree. Yeah. Same thing with couches. I always look at where the TV's positioned right. in relation to the couch. and But I always tell people you're always going to have a sacrifice right. no matter what unit you get. So you have to decide what's your top priorities and then know that you're going to have to, you know, give on a couple other things. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's take a question. Okay. How hard is it to travel with pets in a travel trailer? I okay. love this question because we have two dogs. Right. I can't speak to cats, um, but... I don't want to say it's hard. It's definitely not hard. It just takes right. some extra planning and preparing. And um, and there's lots of things that you can do to make sure that the unit you find is good for your pets, too. And Dan and I actually, which is really nice about Camping World, because we went in every single unit. The units are all open. Right. And they let us bring our dogs. I don't know. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, <laughs> okay. yeah. We're pet friendly. Yeah, all the stores are pet friendly. So yeah. we tried it out, and we just sat there with the dogs and saw, like, our dogs went under the dinette and got super cozy under there. So we're like, okay, this is a good spot. Right. Um, so try it out. And then, you know, you just have, there's certain safety things with pets that you have to think ab about ahead of right. time. And um, it's definitely not hard. And right. it adds to the adventure because right. they're part of your family. And we always hate leaving our dogs behind. Right. And having someone else watch them. And yeah. you're always worried. So. It's, much, it's much more fun having them with yeah. you too. Yeah, and it's you're hiking, you're outdoors. Of course your dogs are going to love to be with yeah. you. So. And you know what? We actually have a session coming up here after this where we're going to talk about campgrounds and boondocking. Yep, yep. We'll throw some pet stuff in there for you, too. For so that'll sure. be coming up here in a few minutes, too, with you yeah. at the summer solstice. So this is the Coleman 250 like TQ. Great toy haul. This could potentially be our next. I tell I you, like if it. you're looking for one that, I mean, once again, for as low as 173 a month, you're talking about 5,500 pounds dry I weight. I know. For lightweight. I yeah. mean. Yep. This is one, and once again, we pick these units because they are some of the most popular units, and I they're ones see. that we have access to across the country. Yeah, awesome. Large awning on the outside. I'm also a big fan of the solid steps. I am too. Uh, the more ride and the solid steps because. I am too. The I, other ones that don't touch the ground, it's just. Yeah. It's always well, and at lovely. night, at night it's tough because that was the last step is always a doozy. Yeah. <laughs> so you never you never know where you're gonna go. It's true. Um, but power leveling jacks, double axle on this travel trailer. Um, nice. Yeah. If you're looking for a toy hauler, this is one I would absolutely say. Plus, we got the dual wow. zone speakers, LED light strip on the awning. 
I mean, love it. I come know. on, man. And the other thing you're going to notice with a lot of the travel trailers nowadays, mm -hmm. if you do have a solar panel, I know we've had a couple people ask about solar yeah. panels. Yeah. Um, if you have a solar panel, a lot of them come standard with the solar prep already on them. Oh, great. So with a quick connect, you just plug your panels oh, right in there. Easy. Yeah. That's that's a that's a nice have. Magnetic. Perfect. And good and storage. storage. Oh yeah, Shoot, as you can see, I put my through. stuff in there. Yeah. I wanted to see how much stuff I could fit in there. <laughs> so just don't ask me where I got it. We're gonna we'll keep that between us. I like it. It's so, just like the right length too that yep. feels comfortable for us. Two hundred fifty so. TQ. Power tongue jack. 20 pound dual LP tanks up front. I mean, it's just a just a good option for anybody looking for a toy haul. Ooh, so we saw a lot of good ones. Yeah, that's our run of some samples of travel trailers. Um, any other questions you think came through? Maybe we could get real quick. Let's see. We talked about that. A lot of these we've answered just in our talks. Yeah, what's that? What's your recommendation for first timer retired couples? Simple and easy. Whew, it's so hard to give recommendations because it just really depends on. What's the recommendation for first timer RV and a retired couple? Yep, first timer retired. So here's here's a standard line I would give. If you're dipping your toe in the water and you're a little scared, get an aluminum travel trailer. Yeah. yeah. Um, they're less expensive. They're still wonderful units. You're yeah. going to have a great time. But get the features that you want mm -hmm. because just like a gym membership, if you don't use it, you don't like using it, yeah. you're not going to benefit from it and you're not going to want to go back and use it again. Right. So do the research up front. Go take a look at the units. Go mm -hmm. feel them. And you know what? Knock around in it. Yeah. Um, there are so many floor plans to choose from. Pick what you like. Pick what's going to fit your lifestyle. Right. And then just go for it. Right. You know as well as anybody. When yeah. you get out there, you're going to love it. Yeah. yeah. And you can always upgrade and you can always change. And I think people put so much emphasis on which is the right one right away. Mm -hmm. but. Sometimes you just don't know until you're out there. And right. so get something that feels comfortable, affordable, and then you can always change and yeah. upgrade. And maintenance is key too. Yeah. Maintenance is absolutely key. Take care of the unit. Yep. And you know, we got a session on that coming up a little bit later. My buddy okay. Ian's gonna be going through with Sean. They're gonna talk tell you about how to take care of your That's RVs. That's so helpful. Pay attention to that because maintenance is key. It, it is. also helps that resale value yeah. for when you're ready to trade in. Absolutely. So. And Think about how you're going to be using it. If you're going to be going on longer trips or just occasional weekend camping trips, right. all that makes a really big difference. So talk to the salesman about that mm -hmm. and make sure you're getting the right one for you, not just what we think is the right. best. <laughs> so let's see. I think we got time for one more question here. Let's. Uh, how about? And we do have the giveaway coming up. Um, we got $100 gift cards. I'm going to be giving those away here in just a few minutes. We are live at Summer Solstice with Camping World and Gander RV and Outdoors. Get those entries in right now. So what else we got? So we have a lot of questions about just towing and um, like what your truck can tow, sure. how wind is going to affect Big important. it, Big important. Um, gas mileage, things like yes. that. Yes, so yes, yes. Just talk on that. All that is affected by what you're towing, what you're towing with, and with wind, even 10 miles an hour can, can affect yeah. it. Um, but with weight, usually, you know, 2,500 pounds, you're going to lose about 10% effectiveness on that gas mileage. Mm -hmm. 25 to 5,000 pounds, you're going to lose anywhere from like 15 to 25. And then anything over 5,000 pounds, you're going to lose, you know, 25 to 35%, okay. you know, gas mileage effectiveness. But, you know, try to figure that out ahead of time. How much, you know, what's your gas mileage right now? And then mm -hmm. factor that in. But so many factors come into play. Uh, how much does the vehicle weigh? Am I going downhill? Do, you know, right. Dan made a against great point earlier. Yeah, against the wind versus the tailwind. <laughs> yeah. There are so many factors, but you know, those weights and those percentages uh, are, are you know pretty good guesstimate to go by. Uh, the other thing is, uh, you know, can my vehicle tow an RV? We get that question a lot. People That's love it, and you know, really it's important. One. It's free quick and easy to get your vehicle checked out by one of our specialists at Gander RV and Outdoors and Camping World. Yeah. Take it in, let them take a look at your vehicle, tell them which unit yeah. you're going to tow, tell them here's what I plan on having in it, here's what I want to do with it, is this right for me, can I tow it? Yeah. And th they will help you out. It's easy and it's a lot easier than you think to figure out. Yeah. Let the experts do it because that's what they're there for. Yeah, and there are more like you said, there's a lot that goes into it, like what you're putting in it and the Yeah. So and where you don't going? guess. <laughs> yeah, That's do not sure. guess. You will regret <laughs> yeah. that if do you not just guess. assume you know. Because you know, and people hate me saying this, but yeah. at the end of the day it's not towing so much as it is stopping. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> so, yeah. and if you can, can look into the weight distribution hitch too. Mm. So it's not always a necessity, but it's a great have. Yeah. So all right. Um, we've had some tremendous questions come through. Thank you everyone who's had a chance yeah. to give us questions. Um, Lindsay. 
Oh, you thanks. killed it too. Thank you so much. So what do you say we give away some $100 gift cards? Uh, Leland Williams, congratulations. You Congrats. just got yourself a $100 gift card. Uh, let's see here. Jolyn Kalkari. And please, if I mess up your names, please, Jolyn. you know, you can make fun of me later. I'm totally okay with it. Carolyn Ross, Patricia Hodkinson, Gary Rutledge. Thank you all so Congrats. much for taking the time That's to exciting. send us questions. Yeah, and watching us here. You just got yourself a $100 gift card. Thank you so much for Go your questions. Shopping. Yeah, have fun shopping. They can, you know what? We got RV Essentials coming up here in a little bit. Perfect. Campgrounds to visit and yep. how to boondock. So take those gift cards and hold on to them because we're <laughs> going to show you some great things coming up here at Summer Solstice that you're going to be able to buy with them. For Lindsay from cool. Follow Your Detour, I'm Chris Young from Camping World again to RV and Outdoors. We're having fun out here. Be sure to stick around because we got more great stuff coming up at Summer Solstice as we continue in just a minute.